Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. My name is Nathan, and welcome back. <laughs> it's been a minute since we've talked about Scream, and I want to get back into getting excited about Scream. This is kind of the time that um, I want to get back into it and start talking about it because we've already finished Scream 6. It's so weird that Scream 6 came out this year, but it feels like so long ago. Uh, and if you guys haven't seen Scream 6 yet, it was a great movie. I loved it. I did have some thoughts on it and stuff, but I did like it. But we got to look forward to Scream 7. Scream 7 is coming. We know this, right? It's probably going to be sometime next year. Um, but I've heard some rumors that it might even be in 2025, that they might actually take a year off and bring it in 2025 instead of 2024 which I'm okay with that, you know, take a little break. Don't just rush these things. Scream 6 was awesome. Scream 5 was really good. So don't rush it, you know, get it right. If you're going to end the trilogy, end it with the bang, right? Now, a lot of you know on this channel, my favorite Scream movie is Scream 3, obviously. And I love Scream 3. I think it was a great movie. But I do want to talk about Scream 7. So Scream 7, what do we want from Scream 7? Well, Scream 5... They took it back to Woodsboro, right? Scream 7, uh, sorry, 6, they went to college, just like Scream 2. So my question is, are they going to be bringing it back to Hollywood? I have a guess that probably they will, just because I feel like this new trilogy is trying to copy the old trilogy. And so I think they're going to do something pretty twisty and different, obviously, like they did for 6. But I think they're going to bring back to Hollywood. And I'm curious to see if they're going to bring back kind of the style they did with Scream, where it was like on movie props and stuff. It would be interesting to kind of like what they built for Stu's house. I think it'd be cool to see some new movie props brought back to life and maybe have some of the OG characters go through some of the OG trilogy sets, if that makes sense. Like that would be kind of cool, right? Like go back to Woodsboro, like go back to Casey Becker's house. Um, go back to some of the college scenes in Scream 2, like have some of the Scream 3 uh, studio sets. Like, I think if they're going to do it right, I think have a movie and a movie and a movie, you know, like a Screamception kind of thing. That would be pretty cool. I'm curious to see if they're going to do more than three killers. I think doing more than three killers is a little overkill. No pun intended. <laughs> I think if you do more than three killers, you got to make the movie really good because everybody's expecting that cult aspect of the movie. But I think if you do the cult aspect, it's going to be kind of corny. So I think personally, they need to go back to just one killer. I think either one or two. They did something different with six and everybody's like, oh, they got to do four ghost face now. But I think just having one ghost face would be really good to go back to. Uh, because, you know, every movie's had two other than six. Oh, and three. Three had one, right? Which is my favorite. Um, but I don't know. I'm excited. I want to see what you guys have to say. Let's start talking about Scream again. Let's start getting it on this channel. Uh, I have some ideas I kind of want to float around with you guys. And I, I definitely want to hear from you. What do you think Scream 7 is going to feature? I think they're going to go back to Hollywood, but I don't know. That's just going to be my guess. Well, anyways, good to be back. As always, my name is Nathan. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video. Let me tell, uh, please tell me your Scream thoughts down in Scream 7 thoughts down in the comments. And I will see you guys on the next video.